Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your 2019 year reading on, with your host, Faith, the bitch with the mouth. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Oh, very well. I have my crow deck, which I got. I think I told you guys about last time I talked to you. And it's right here. And I'm going to use it to do the clarifications and such, right? Right. We're going to do the whole ye year. I guess we're going to look at like how some things that didn't go well caused it to feel like you didn't do very much or something went wrong. Hmm. Oh my god. I don't like you, Taurus. You get to do your guys are in control. Things happen. Or maybe you feel like something can be manifested because like there's someone causing issues possibly in the home or people are coming against you a little bit and not trying to um, work things out maybe. That could be a possibility too. There's going to be some holiday I'm taking for the Christmas time. I'm not going to do any readings until maybe after January 13th, which is after my birthday because it's the 11th. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. So, if, but if you want to donate, my PayPal is down below. Ugh, I hate advertising like that, but like, it's up to you, really. And um, if you do want personal readings, all that information is down below in the description as well. I just like telling people that because I really feel like people don't really read the descriptions of things, and that's just like, that's really important. <laughs> like, how do you know if a book's good or not if you don't? Look, you can't judge anything by its. Well, that's not true. You can judge people by its. And our first ca card is a slow and a steady offer that's taking its precious time, right? First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter, right? For the year. Now look at, right? We got someone still reminiscing about the past in the first quarter, quarter of the year, where it's beginning, right? Then we have someone taking the time to take a break, relax, rejuvenate. There might be some funky ideas or maybe even a bad judgment call in the third quarter. And over here we have some secrets being guarded with the High Priestess in the fourth quarter, right? Here is my crow deck. I hope you guys like it. I love this deck. Oh, Lord. And just, like, this deck also, like, your cards are just snapping out at me today. Huh. That's for the people who like going around on other tarot readers channels and being like, stop snapping your card. Stop doing this. Like, no, dude. Like, don't tell people what to do. That's not cool. I think that's inherently rude. Especially when you're being a guest in their house. Like, how many times can you shit on someone's living room floor before they tell you to get out of their house, you know? Like, don't be jerks about it. People are being kind enough to show you things for free. Back in the day, this used to be like a 1999 a minute phone call with a lady named Cleo who wasn't even Jamaican. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get for these cards for all the quarters of the month. We have justice. Oh, would you look at that? I just decided to pick the first top one of the, that one group just because it was face down. It's like, ah, I'll take the top. These cards are slick, but they're really, really getting harder to um, slide and stuff. That's why I don't like messing with them too much. Oh, take the top of this one. Take the bottom. Okay, so like with this first quarter, right? Someone is reminiscing about justice. Possibly dealing with a Libra. Libra energy is definitely going around somewhere, right? But maybe someone dealt with a judgment call when it came to justice, but like, okay, there is a righteous judgment call that happened, possibly back in the day. Someone's reminiscing about that. Childhood memories, right? Some sort of justice came in, but there was a bad judgment call somewhere, which is weird because this is what's down here in the third quarter so that's what's going on in the first quarter right and over here in the second quarter we got someone 
taking their time to relax because they're kind of at a crossroads and they've been stuck there when it comes to a relationship potentially. Maybe they feel like they don't know what to do in the second quarter of the year. And mind you, none of this really needs to be bad. You have to think about it as, as vague as possible. Like, yeah, when you get told you have a lot of options, um, jail or getting killed in the process of being taken to jail are options as well. So you got to take everything into consideration, the good and the bad. Just because this might sound bad does not mean that it's necessarily bad. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. Anyway, this third quarter, ooh, there was one. I just flipped and I just missed it. Hmm. Okay, third quarter. It seems like that judgment call left someone dazed, confused, and keeping their guard up. When it comes to a King of Cups, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type, right? Like, does somebody have a wrong idea about... Well, I don't know, because, like... He's very, um, red. He's very red, and it seems like the background behind him is warping a little bit. Like, he exudes a lot of, like, attention and energy with his redness. It's very bright, very flamboyant, right? And it's just, it's almost like it matches this energy of being, like, dazed and confused. Like, he doesn't look like he's really focused on anything, but he looks really fucking weak. Maybe somebody feels like they were wrong about somebody, or maybe they feel like, you know, this bad judgment call has called them, caused them to want to keep themselves closed off as the King of Cups. He's a diviner, sage, which means I think those eyes are, like, mean-looking because, like, he's looking at shit like, I don't believe a fucking word you're saying to me right now. Miss me with that shit, you know? <laughs> then over here in fourth quarter, we got the six of coins, which is, like, gifts bounty, but reverse, I think it's, like, someone isn't aware of it, and that's your energy, Taurus. Like, someone isn't entirely taking... The time to see how productive this could end up, right? Or someone hasn't noticed it yet. Like, Taurus, you have a habit of, like, not realizing things. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Just like my... <laughs> just like my little sister. <laughs> I hate to say, but it's like... Like, you're ignoring this gift or offer because, like... You're trying to avoid a situation. More or less. In this last quarter... But kits and how you're entering into the year is the Knight of Coins. You're trying to anchor yourself. You're trying to gather yourselves up pretty quick. That's pretty cool that that came up as a um, part of your energy anyway. You know, you're sitting there steady. You're keeping your money on your mind. You're just going to sit there and watch things go down. Kind of like the King of Cups down here. What are the lessons for Taurus? For the quarters um maybe in this one is to hmm there might have been justice involved but maybe you think now it's possible it wasn't the best idea and maybe there was an apology you did want to accept in this first quarter maybe or maybe you just want to start a new love of some sorts because Ace Carters is all about new beginnings, new starts, new heartfelt emotions, apologies, joy. And over here, the lesson it is to walk up with that cup and offer that love. Mind you, the lover's cards could also be dealing with a Gemini too. But yeah, look, there's that cup. Here's someone writing up an offer of that cup, right? In this one, the lesson's dealing with like moving to calmer waters possibly i don't think it's leaving the situation itself as it, as is as it is as much just leaving all of the shit behind because you know here's him he's just like i'm not dealing with this shit i'm cutting it off right now and there's that guard because of the bad judgment call possibly up here so maybe you're trying to move to like clearer waters in order to deal with this bad judgment call accordingly and maybe you're going to deal with this Heartfelt emotional situation a little bit better, possibly. 
And then with this last quarter of the year right here. Oh dear. Ah! Gaining a whole new perspective or understanding the perspective of what's going on around you, possibly with what you're doing and how you're dealing with the situation. Right? With you going in to the um, ending out the year, I must say. The way you'll be ending out next year. Please, cards, if you don't mind. I don't know anyone from Indiana. Who the fuck would call me from Indiana? Oh, feeling a little less nurturing than what you were. Maybe a little bit, yeah, but well, I mean, this is your last quarter, right? So maybe you're just not full of your energy. Maybe you just feel like you aren't capable of nurturing as much. And But maybe this new insight will help you out. Yeah, so don't take it bad. Like, it's just going to be a little bit of a rough year, but I don't think that's going to, like, hinder you at all with your future. I think in the end, maybe you'll just end up seeing that you weren't... Maybe your focus is so keen on what's on your mind, which I think is your money, that like you kind of forgot to nurture yourself a little bit. And I think you're going to realize that with this new perspective at the end of the year. And you can work on that going into the year after. So that's yours, Taurus. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.